friends, welcome back to my channel. No, you haven't switched on Tales from the Crypt by mistake. <sighs> this is my real hair. So if you're new and you're like, what the frick are you talking about, Emily? I wear wigs every single day. I shaved my head in January last year and I have not cut this at all. So this is a year and nine months worth of growth. This bit has all been cut, this has not. And I've only been dyeing it black, I haven't bleached it, I haven't done anything else to it, I haven't trimmed it, I haven't been to the hairdressers. So that brings me to today. Let's just leave it like that. I am starting my new hair journey today. My hair was shaved all around here, that's why there's no long hair at the front and this is all regrowth. What I am going to do today is colour strip my hair. I have not been to the hairdressers in eight years and I am actually going to the hairdressers for this hair transformation. I'm so nervous. What do you do at hairdressers? Can I bring snacks? It's It's been so long. So my hair was split black and green and it was probably, it was first black and blue, then it was a bit black and blonde and then it was black and purple. Can't remember if I had black and pink, I don't. No, I did have black and pink and then I settled on black and green. And then I kind of got bored from split hair because it became in fashion and I was just seeing it everywhere. And now I want it back. I have a wig that is black and green split, so that's why I don't want to do my actual hair black and green. But I want my split hair back. Look, I've been wearing my wigs and wig caps so much, my fringe just doesn't even go straight anymore. Oh, I look like someone from in between us. My hair is very thin because I have, does that look straight? because I have PCOS. It's not from dyeing it, it's not from, that's it, it's not from dyeing it, it's not from anything, it's from hormones. I know people are gonna go, ah, stop dyeing your hair and you won't be so thin. Guys, it's from hormones. I can't control those. I promise this is gonna, well, I can't promise it's gonna look all right. I hope it's gonna look all right. So first things first, I'm gonna change my top. Even though it's not bleach, I just still don't wanna get any on my top and what i have is color rewind from superdrug it is a color stripper i used it on the horrendousness that was my fringe can you remember that video i was me stripping my fringe and uh failing miserably it's really easy it comes in three bottles a b and c you mix a and b and that's it and you see in the shower there is a bit of confetti in here <laughs> like um i don't know where that came from i am not a hairdresser and i'm sure hairdressers are going to be in the comments girl don't do that don't do that <sighs> too late it's done what color stripper essentially does is removes it uh picks away at at permanent hair colors i have tried this on semi-permanent colors and i will probably put it over the green but every time I've put it over semi-permanent colours, it doesn't do anything. It might oxidise the colour and change it, but I've never known it to remove semi-permanent colours. Oh, that smells delicious. It smells like eggy farts on a bonfire. Ooh, why did you smell it again, Emily? You just said it smelled like shit. Okay, I ran downstairs to get some better gloves because I hate those gloves. So now I've got nitrile gloves. I will get Ben to check the back as well to make sure that it is all covered. So let me tell you what is going on so when i did my split hair a couple of years ago i didn't expect to fall in love with it as much as i did because i changed my hair quite often so i thought it was just uh oh this is the latest thing that i'm doing um but i actually i fell in love with it and it turned out to be one of my most favorite hairstyles i have ever had i'm gonna chop it i'm gonna put it a little bit on the green but i don't think it's gonna do anything and then it did become more in fashion and i'm not saying that i like my hair to be oh, so not in fashion i just like when you see something every day and you see it everywhere it then becomes like not as unique and, and I just you just get bored of seeing it and I just got a little bit bored of seeing split hair and that's why I then went to like e-girl hair I did my fringe hairdressers are crying at what I'm doing right now um, and I did just my fringe and I have spent the last I don't know last few months whenever I did my fringe trying to convince myself that I like my hair like this <laughs> because I didn't want to go through the whole process of bleaching it, stripping it, getting the black out. I didn't want to do all that and damage my hair because all, all I have done to my hair is put black dye on it from shaving it off and I didn't want to risk having to shave it off again. I've been trying to convince myself that I like my hair, I'm happy with it. I'm not happy with it. And I finally admitted it and I was like, no, do you know what? I don't like it. I don't like it. 
it doesn't suit me I just I don't like green all green at the front of my hair like this unless it's my all green wig and then I have the long bits of green and that suits it I went to bloodstock recently um, which is a metal festival and I saw a lot of people with split hair but mainly black and red I saw a few black and greens and that really made me miss black and green because at best at bloodstock I just didn't make any effort it was so hot and I was so sweaty I just really couldn't be bothered so I didn't make any effort and then that kind of made me feel a bit like mm, everyone's so pretty I wish I'd made an effort so I came back from bloodstock like okay I need a big change I need a big confidence boost I need to do something to give me that serotonin release I was looking at hair because that's my first go-to for everything is hair and I fell in love with my split hair again I mean that love never died I fell in love with black and white Black and white, Cruella de Vil hair. I always want, I've always loved Cruella de Vil hair, but I didn't want to do it because when the Cruella film came out in May, I think, I thought everybody was gonna rush and get black and white split hair, everyone was gonna get split hair, and I didn't really see a rise in it, to be honest, and the more I see something, the less I want it. And I just thought that everyone was gonna do it, and then that would put me off. But I didn't see a single person, a single person with black and white split hair at Bloodstock. And then that just made me like, ooh, okay, all right, I see ya. I want ya. So that's what I'm doing. And going from black to white is like the hardest thing ever. So I am not even gonna risk doing it myself. Don't worry, I'm gonna go to a hairdresser. It's gonna take a few sessions. I won't be able to get it white blonde, not even white just like really pale blonde after one session so I'm color stripping it to get it as light as I can without bleach and then the salon is gonna take it from there the salon could have stripped it but ugh, salons are so expensive <laughs> and I wanted to do as much as I could at home so I'm gonna get Ben to do the back quickly and then I'm gonna leave it for an hour and then after an hour you wash your hair twice with this buffering stuff and that's when it washes it all out. So right now it doesn't look like it's doing anything but what it's doing is expanding the hair dye I think and then when you have a shower and you use the buffer 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 is that's when you wash it all out and that's when it comes out. So, so do you like my shower cabaret? Kinda digging it. Color stripper is on. I'm gonna leave this for one hour and then hopefully this little concoction will make it all strip away and beautiful and brown again. So in a few days I will re-black this and black this part of my fringe. I won't bother filming that because it's just slopping black on. And then in two weeks I have a salon appointment. I'm so excited, I'm so scared, I'm so nervous. What do I do at a salon? Like, I'm really antisocial. Do I just sit there, like, filming in the mirror? Hmm. I've already been told that it will take a couple of appointments to do, which I'm totally fine with. I'm just really excited to start this new serotonin release, this new journey, this new hair journey. And it's gonna be that little tiny bit less maintenance as well. Because Manic Panic, um, I don't know what Manic Panic have done, but their green that I always use is just not sticking anymore. And it's, it's expensive, it's like 10, 10 to 12 pound a pot. Right, so now I've set my timer for an hour. I'm gonna go and watch Ben and Violet play Fortnite for an hour and then I will wash it off. But that's it, I will talk to you guys in a couple of days when my hair is hopefully half brown and hopefully half black. And then the salon anxiety will start to rise and I will just be like, social, social environment, what do I do? I'm gonna go get ready for my shower and I'll see you guys in a few days. Today's the day, the sun is shining, the tank is clean. I'm going to the hairdressers for the first time in eight years. I said eight years in my the first part of this video, but I think it's like closer to nine, ten. So here's a, here's me my date for the morning. Oh, I'm so early. Ah. A few days ago, Ben dyed this half of my hair, oh my fringe black for me. I didn't bother filming it just because it it wasn't that exciting to be honest and this has been color stripped i think it looks like a tiny bit darker than this side hopefully gonna come out of the hairdressers today with lighter hair oh i've got hairy knees 
I, I'm, I don't expect to come out with like white hair, um, but I'm expecting it kind of maybe gingery or just light lighter. And and then I'm pretty sure I will have to book another appointment in a few weeks when I have some money. So I know the hairdresser, and he said it will take two to three sessions. So I'm fully I'm fully aware that I'm not gonna leave the salon today with my with my ideal hair. I'm also very nervous, like because I don't like talking to people when when I have to. So I'm like sat in a chair, and it's gonna be like been busy. What time are you on till? I might be British, but I don't like small talk. I would just want to sit there and play on my phone and pretend I'm not here. So, um, we're in my old work. We're in Cricketers. It'll be a little, little spin tour. Look how fancy it's gone since I left. This is fancy. It's almost like I pulled the tone of the restaurant down. <laughs> so we're just waiting for our breakfast. Veggie breakfast. Um, and a pint of Pepsi because I need fizzy first thing in the morning. My hair looks really greasy. But it isn't greasy. Okay, it's greasy. <laughs> the hairdresser is gonna wash it for me. I'm not gonna waste my shampoo when I'm paying for this. The studio I'm going to is called Bohemia, and it's like literally across the road. It's not far at all. And Ben is off today to Cambridge and then Camden to watch the the glitches. Yeah, the, after Cambridge to watch glitches. The glitches in Cambridge and then uh, Wargasm in Camden. Mm. So Ben's got a fun day. I got a fun day. Breakfast is covered, so I'm gonna go. Yeah. He's walking me to my appointment like a gentleman. I can't trust her. She'll get lost. <laughs> it's not a lie there. <laughs> yeah. My little helper walked me to the salon so I don't get lost. I want to go to bed. And we've sat on a, an ant's nest. <laughs> I'm not even joking. So we're gonna have ants on our pants. We tried to not sit on the ants nest, but they're all along this wall and we wanna sit down. So we found the least anti part. Let me show you. There he is, a little fucker. Trying to get in Ben's pants. I see ya, I see ya. So we've got 10 minutes till my appointment and then Ben's gonna bugger off to Cambridge. Um, and then I can, Hopefully live out my Cruella fantasy. Are you excited? Yeah! What am I excited for? Don't know. Yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited and I just can't find it. Yeah, yeah. Bring me back a present from Captain I'm about Cambridge. to lose control. And I think I like it. <laughs> so this is the start of our divorce. <laughs> I accidentally click on it. Okay, I'm just turn green. Don't make me look like a loser any longer than I have to. Come on. I look like a right twat. Come on. She's one that changes more often. I didn't realise. There's like three way major traffic here. Four way. I'm trying to get the typical vlogger like, I press the button to cross the road, but it's not changing. <laughs> there! It changed. Good now driving. I can carry on with my vlog.
so all done i'm trying to run really quick and it's raining i have to get the bus to do the school run so this is the front the front was already bleached so he just took the green out of this the back is a bit more yellow but there is about eight boxes of black dye in there i booked in again for four weeks time he said three months i don't want to wait three months so four weeks and then i'll get it finished i'm so excited all in time for my holiday right i have to go because i have to go pick up violet but i am obsessed hey boobs so it's been about two weeks since i had my hair done and before that and kind of now i just haven't really been feeling that great about myself and i've been feeling like really low and really self-conscious i haven't wanted to film videos and i just every time i do sit and film videos i'm just like oh i just hate myself but when i got the first part of my hair done it's there's something magic in hair dye i don't care what therapists say <laughs> like hair dye is therapy it may be temporary but it's temporary therapy i saw like a little bit of serotonin boost when my hair was done i am so looking forward to the, my next appointment to hopefully have the hair that I feel will help my mental health. I don't even know. My hairdresser said that I will need one to two more appointments so I could need another one. You can't go from black to pale blonde hair in one sitting and if you can I can guarantee you that your hair will not be healthy. Don't give me that I did it and my hair is healthy. Nah you lie you lie but i'm really hoping that this next appointment in a couple of weeks is my last one i, ke I keep flipping back and forth about like whether i'm gonna I'm gonna get it cut or not because i'm trying to grow it but i really like the idea of like shorter hair so we'll we'll see hair does a lot for me it's something that i take so seriously i think because i have pcos so my hair is very thin it's very weak um, and so I am naturally self-conscious of my hair. So far, having it dyed professionally, oh my god, that was so relaxing. The little head massage at the end, could have fallen asleep. So I feel like I'm on the right track. Obviously, like, therapy is the end goal, but until then, hair dye will do. I think I did tell you guys, the last time I bleached my hair myself, I didn't vlog this fortunately so I, I went through a phase of like with the green fringe and i kept dying it green and it kept coming out blue and i don't know why i don't know why every time it came out blue but the last time i did it i didn't vlog it but the last time i did it i used color freedom from Superdrug, and it was said it was green and it came out the bluest blue that ever blued like in the blue world confusion intensifies so t i don't want blue hair i've done blue hair that's not for me anymore so i I went on like I went on a little like breakdown and I bleached my fringe and it had been bleached so much but I kind of just thought that's my fringe it gets cut regularly fringe fell out didn't it like loads of like it, okay my fringe didn't go Phew! loads of it fell out it was so brittle I couldn't brush it so I ended up shaving my fringe off. Yes, just my fringe. No, I don't have any pictures of it because I was amazed yet horrified at the same time. I thought it wouldn't take too long to grow back and I was wrong. But luckily I wear wigs anyway, so I just wore wigs all the time until it got to an, an, an all right length and then I started to wear my natural hair. And then people were like, girl, what's going on with your fringe? It's like, oh, if only you knew. <laughs> So I've got the hairdressers in a couple of weeks from now. I'm gonna dye some hair extensions just so I can have, see so this is what's gonna convince me to get it all cut off short. Cause I, I love like switching between long hair and short hair. I got some lovely new extensions from my favorite hair extension company, VP Fashion. I will be showing you like the vlog of my next part of my hair after this. So I got some shade 613A DIY 100% human hair extensions. They are clip in. That is a lot of hair. My hair isn't this thick. Oh, share to win a free wig. Extra thick extensions in 22. I'm regretting getting 22 because that is a lot longer than I thought that was going to be. <laughs> so thick. That is that is thicker than my thighs. They've come with extra clips in case you want extra clips. The only scissors I've found are hairdressing scissors. So they have a comb on and they have some sellotape on the end and unacceptable conditions. I don't think I've got enough hair dye for this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. So that's how thick the thick weft is. I don't, I don't even know if I'm doing it justice, but that is really thick. Cause my hair is gonna be half black, half blonde. I'm gonna put half of each 
to one side. These are the three weft ones, so how am I going to do this? I do need to put them in half. Well, no, because, oh, I didn't think this through. These ones would have, these will go at the back of my head, so these will be in half. And then these ones I would put here, like this at the top. So if my brain is correct, oh my god, please be correct. I only need to black, well, on this side. I only need to black this bit. Is that right? Is that right? Because then this blonde bit would be for this half of my head and this bit would overlap this side. Yeah, I think that's right. So that, oh my God, please be right. And then this would be the opposite. I have lots of tin foil. No, not to make a, not to make a hat. So I'm gonna cover the bit that I want to stay blonde. I'm gonna cup, wrap it really tight in tin foil. I don't, I don't even know how. Progress. So the reason I'm doing this as well is so it doesn't run in the shower when I wash it off. Because if the black runs into this blonde, it's gonna go grey. It's happened to me before. So all that will be black. Oh my god, right, I'm gonna do this um, and I'll come back to you when it's done. All right, all right, all right. I'm back with me, with me bundles of joy. I also wanna say like, this won't be as hard to do if you have split hair. Um, it's just awkward for me because my sides are shaved so you get a full head of extensions But I don't have a full head because all this is shaved So I need to divide a full head of extensions by three quarters of a head now I am a million percent sure I'm gonna run out of hair dye I did order a couple of boxes and I don't know where they've gone and I need to do this today I'm using color freedom metallic black from super dark hair dye. It is vegan and cruelty free and it is it is black. I find a lot of like, especially Schwarzkopf, their black just doesn't stay black. It goes brown really, really quickly. So I'm gonna mix all of this and um, pop Romy and Michelle on and, and get dyeing this. It's really easy to dye extensions. Oh, my gloves are so big. I'm definitely gonna run out of dye. That's fine, I'll do as much as I can and then I'll send Ben out to the shops later if I need to. Right, Romy and Michelle. Okay, I ran out of hair dye. I know I've got another box here somewhere, I just can't find it. I was looking all last night. This is what I have. One box did the big pieces. I literally only have these two left to do. So I'm gonna send Ben out to grab me another box if I can't find the one that I have. But for the ones that are done, I will leave them to process for about half an hour and then I will shower them off. Keep the tin foil around the blonde bits while you're showering it. Just run that shower head, hold the tin foil and run that shower head down the black half or the half that you've dyed a different color. If you wash both shades together, they're gonna run and I mean, you might want that, I don't know. For now, I will say goodbye. I get my hair done in two weeks and then after that is done, I will show you with my extensions in, how if I get it cut or not, how it looks. So, uh, yeah, keep watching. 